talking about? Probably because I have my binox up, so he goes to the highest setting. But anyway, so some of these pictures you guys are going to recognize. Some of them are going to be different. So first off, left or right in terms of pictures. Uh, Leftmost picture is enemy PID. They've got solid green camos and green trucks. <clears throat> Second picture is the gorillas loadout. So if you want to look like gorillas, dress like that. Uh, third picture is the AO. The town of Gabu is going to be our town as our kappa. If you open your maps, just let it load. It takes a second. Anyway, uh, we are at the little blue four sign. That's the staging point. This green stuff you see all the way down here on the bottom by the expo marker with the little red circle, that is their staging point. That is where enemy players will respawn. Reminder, you are one life. They are infinite lives. So I would highly recommend you stay away from the southern side of this AO. If you open your maps, you're going to notice that there is a power station marker and three radio towers. The northernmost radio tower got a little cut off. So I apologize for that. Just how it works. Your job as saboteurs is to blow up the three radio towers and the switch station at the power plant or the power plant building or all of it. Uh, there's three textures at the power plant. The actual building and then this massive power plant switch station and then a little piece in the middle that middle piece is invincible because arma but it's just a little thin texture so it doesn't matter blowing up the power station means you blow up either the power plant building or the switch station or both up to you uh radio towers are considered destroyed if you blow up the radio tower how to blow them up radio towers for whatever reason take either two well-placed charges on the um ends where they're connecting to the ground not necessarily the middle uh, you might need three, though, because when I was testing, it got a little wonky. Or, just charges. When I say charge, it's the small. When I say satchel, it's big. Or, just one satchel. Anyway, with uh, the power station, it's going to be four charges or one satchel. Uh, do note that if it doesn't blow up, just add more demo. Also, you probably don't have clackers, so you're going to have to time them. Have fun with that. When has that been a problem for us? Now, uh, in Gabu, again, that is our town of Zarkapa. During this time, there will be a force of gorillas going into the AO. A platoon of, th yeah, 32 of them will attack the southern fortifications to distract the enemy. As you blow up each tower, there will be three squads of infantry that are sent in to continue the assault on the Zarkapa garrison. If you blow up the power station, they will also send infantry with trucks with 50 cals. So the more you blow up, the more you screw over the enemy players. If for whatever reason, after you're done blowing stuff up, you decide to join the assault, if you are able to go in to the two fortifications and blow up the two, excuse me, three radio tower markers, you will get a bonus for the next mission. That next mission involves a plane. How many planes and what ordnance are on those planes depends on how many of those radio towers you blow up. Righto, so this is what the players look like, the other players. Yes. This is what your friendly AI look like. Last picture, by the way. So, um, still saying that's a bad idea. real quick, oh, you, you don't have their uniforms, but last, last thing I gotta say, this picture, this represents the local workers at the power station, radio towers, telegraph lines, whatever, uh, because it was noted that they did arm these guys and they did help fight off the gorillas. So they're armed with mainly sidearms, and one 911s and a few Springfield bolt actions. So be careful, there's probably anywhere from a fire team to a squad worth at every objective that you will have to contest with. But hopefully the QRF won't come up to you because they'll be busy with the gorillas at Gabu. Uh, the gorillas will only start attacking when you guys cross the MSR. Uh, so if you look on this map, it's the MSR between your blue form marker and the town of Gabu slash Sargapa. Okay. Oh. I will be clearing the Guatemalan forces to move from their staging area to Zarkapa in five minutes. After, so actually five minutes from now. So I'll give them their brief. I'll be timing it. Uh, you guys feel free to make your plan. And otherwise, good luck. Have fun. Uh, oh, and if you want to be part of the multi-twitch, send me your thing so I can remake it. Thank you. I've got four demo blocks on me as well. I've got satchel charge. Um, yeah, so I have uh, this shirt now. 
Oh, by the way, if you don't, or if you're not able to blow up the towers or the power station, there will be detriments to you in the next objective. So keep that in mind. You guys move a bit. Which one's that iceberg? Uh, this is the BDU. This is the USMC uh, blast. Okay, Charles blast Woodland USMC. Uh, as well. Just to be safe. <sighs> I would say grenade. Um, All right, my name is Rick. I'm Green Rick, but people prefer to call me Pickle because pickles are green, so you may call me Pickle Rick. Anyway, oh, here is the deal. God, oh we have been known. Uh, we have been told ahead of time that there will be an attack on this town. It is called Zarkapa. Ignore the map that says it's Gabu. It's a, uh, it's a typo. Anyway, uh, we believe that they are focusing on our southern garrisons. We've been told that there is over a hundred enemy guerrillas coming in to attack it. You guys represent squads out on patrol and uh, other duties that have moved in on foot to this location to then reinforce the town of Zarkapa. Your job is to hold those two fobs at all cost. You have infinite lives. If you die, you get to do a little walk of shame back up to Zarkapa. We also believe the enemies might have saboteurs that might try to hit our base, so be careful. They could look like you. Anyway. That actually took a little quicker than I thought. Uh, I told the out of character, I told the other players that I would let you go in another three and a half minutes. So I'll let you know when you can go, but uh, feel free to organize your squads. And yeah, I'll let you know when you can uh, start moving up. No, unfortunately, the damn CIA... Actually, no, bananas are illegal because the fruit company, uh, Banana Republic was their name. They're the reason why the CIA are trying to dis topple our regime anyway, because the fruit company doesn't want uh, our president to nationalize uh, their lands to give to landless serfs. Why is there a floating gun? <laughs> I don't know why there's a floating gun. It's probably because someone's in a pose, but... Nah, here's your history lesson. The whole reason Operation PB Success is a thing is because the Banana uh, Republic, a.k.a. the United Fruit Company, was unhappy with the Guatemalan government uh, taking the unused land from the Banana Republic and giving it to people without land so they could grow uh, cotton and stuff to, uh, you know, help the economy. So they told the U.S. what the Guatemalans were doing was communist, uh, communism. And, you know, McCarthyism and the Red Scare kind of made the U.S. then respond with this. So that is the whole situation that we're in with this campaign. There's your history lesson. You're welcome. Woohoo. Anyway, two minutes. Yep, history with Pickle Rick. You're welcome. Okay, gentlemen, we'll do it that way. We are separating into the sting. Uh, Bravo will be math lesson? defending uh, B1. Alpha will be defending A1. Yeah, I if you use the mission command, you can look at the Wikipedia article I've been uh, referencing. If Bravo and Alpha want to meet, As, why did you get him drunk? Hello? You yes? Your spawn, at least, on the mission. Your spawn... Okay. So, let me, let me... Here, listen to Pickle Rick. Your spawn is not off-limits to them. However, they have a single life each. You have infinite lives. So if they try to spawn camp you, you could probably just overwhelm them, or at least they're going to run out of bullets. Mm -hmm. Good luck. We will beat them, of course. <laughs> and Trust upset. me, if they try to spawn camp you, I'm going to spawn a lot of Guatemalan AI. <laughs> Did I spell that combo right? Uh, I'll join no. you then. Mm. Alright, right, let's see. I've got barbarians. Oh. Let me add right, nemesis. This is for the multi-twitch, by the way, guys. Right? It's like Cap of Pride. Yeah, someone from... banana. The Cap of Pride. Oh banana God, Yanni's streaming and Yanni's yeah, apparently banana. wasted. As they say in Guatemala, we can't lose. I God is simple. If you see somebody who is not on your shot clock, do first ask what's president. If he does not answer banana, you shoot him in the face. If he does not answer banana, you shoot him in the face. I love it. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys on the stream. Uh, the CIA doesn't have access to their uniforms. I just said that to mess with them. 
Also, to the one guy that's going to watch this back on YouTube and complain that I gave the uh, players Tiger Stripe, uh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going to research every single article of clothing, because it's going to be a pain in the ass. All right. Ten. Nine. I, okay. Hey, I wouldn't recommend you cable tie the guys defending your spawn, because if they need to shoot and they're cable tied, that's going to be a big oof. Another lesson from Pickle Rick. Anyway, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, go! You're free to go. I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> Pickle Rick says, look both ways before you cross the street. Has anyone ever seen the meme where it's, um, God, what is it? It's, uh, Trump announces World War Three, and, um, it, he, uh, no, no, he, no, he doesn't announce World War Three. He operate, uh, he announces Vietnam to Electric Boogaloo, and it talks about how the Hueys would blast something like Gucci Gain, and then, you know, the GIs would come out, one of them would have a sticker of uh like pickle rick on his helmet and then if you were a rice farmer you get shot and then they'd eat you into a bush and then do a Fortnite dance yeah those were uh those were dark days <laughs> similarly uh there was a meme that came out recently where um it was a joke on his twitter it was a fake tweet obviously but he um he announced the new Cairo station. It showed uh, an image from the Halo 2 mission uh, of Cairo. And, uh... <laughs> just him walking with two UNSC Marines. Like, I'm really proud of this new orbital station. Blah, blah, blah. Because the Space Force. I do have a Space Force campaign. I'm just debating when to actually run it. Because TSB does not need a Space Force campaign right now. <coughs> In fact, the opposite. So, attack's gonna start. And they're going to start moving up. I'm staying back because Big Duncan and D-Dragon are going to join in. It looks like Outcast is also streaming, so I'm going to quickly add him to my multi-twitch. We still have a little bit of time to work with because there hasn't been first contact just yet, but you're going to see me uh, watching what I can. Trump announces some weird stuff. Every president's announced some weird stuff. Though I will admit the stuff Trump, like Space Force, has definitely gotten some interesting points. Throw in the grenades. He died of shock. All right. I'll just teleport over if uh, D Dragon actually shows up. <clears throat> That, that didn't go in, did it? That one did. So yeah, the machine gunners just have M2s that they can deploy, but the AI aren't smart enough to actually deploy them. Was that an actual player? No, that was an AI I dropped. 
So Nano's already dead. Amazing. Just keep working on the torso. Okay. These guys are gonna start moving up to do the first line of sabotage. That squad will pull back to deal with it. Friendly AI are coming up. Yeah, if you see holes in the wall, block them with a the trench. Put him on that M2, say he sets it up. Silver, I think he's has his thing glitched out there. <clears throat> These guys quickly took out those units. And those guys actually pull back. As soon as that tower is knocked out, I will uh, pull stuff back. Looks like they're putting a satchel on it. <clears throat> oh, get, get back on the gun, silly. I did tell them they'd be attacked by over 100 men, so... I don't know where the confusion in there. What, what's confusing about that? So timer set up. They pop green smoke on it. Okay, we got enough people helping. We have a yep. What's gonna cause three more squads to spawn in? Nano. Gotta be careful because I do have guys around. <clears throat> and this guy just got dropped. Whether or not that was by enemy or friendly forces is unknown. I think that was by enemy. Waiting to see this tower go up. Hopefully it will with that satchel. <clears throat> I'm going to have this squad try to hunt them down. This other squad will slowly make it to that power station. Mirawell looks like he's going AFK for a second. Players are moving up. But actually, oh, let me do a head count. Four, eight... Nine, ten. Hey, the ten saboteurs. So we are going to be like actually completely accurate with that. Now you can use your watches to check if time accelerations on. I was about to say, like, do you want it to be accelerated? Because then it's going to get dark, and I don't think you guys want to play in that. But, again, I will do what the player base tells me. If they want to play in pitch black, we'll play in pitch black. Oh, yeah, those guys going to pull back. But, anyway, we have uh, that tower's gone down. Those guys up. Grenades being thrown in. Yeah. <laughs> Nano died again. Yeah, looks like he was killed right here. Probably by this guy. It's a sniper. So they're cable time barbarian now, probably because he's AFK. You move. Drag that squad, but he didn't like that movement order. Hello, I am Guatemalan Commander. Just to let you know, if you want to get quicker reinserts, I believe you did have trucks at your place at Zarkapa. You could send those to pick reinserts up so they don't have to fight through people. Do you need work too? I thought you said you were fine. We have resupplies in the northwestern corner. Yeah, I know those are yeah, I know they look 
Hey, hello Guatemalans. I am fellow Guatemalan. I just wanted to let you know that A, both bases have resupply, like they always have, and B, if you want to pick up your reinserts without having them fight through gorillas, you could use your trucks that are at both bases. But you know, you might have to use your brain on that one. Up to you. Anyway, I'm going to go back to being silent, boy. So I already killed the guards right there. That last one's gonna be a bit tougher. Grenades go off in every direction. We should probably reattack that tire. All right. Well, get people. Get that tire back on. Uh, Dead. Is that tower blown up yet? No, it has not. Hi, yeah, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Let me just walk up to you real quick, friendo. There goes that tower. I'm got freaking shot by them. They're all Bleeding. Welcome to Zacapa. There's a guy down right next to me. Okay. This one's gonna be a bit tougher. I can't walk because someone fucking holds me right now, so give me the sec. Yeah, the AI don't know how to go in because they sealed off all the entrances. Oh, it's gone. Uh, if you're not in a different tunnel, can you find one of them to get one of the attacks? I'm so banned from myself. I got it. It's too fine, that is. I'm trying. I'm trying to bring him up. Looks like they have a hole in the perimeter. Tell me, Doc, am I gonna make it? Clueless Red, AK Ricardo. Who knows if he'll make it? 
Eh, vad säger du då? Ja. Oh man. Fuck that wheel. Where Ooh, good grenade throw. Got that AZ guy walking away. Should be up soonish after all the Soviet tactics for the win. Yeah, right. That's kind of what TSV's devolved to for the time being. Ooh, nice. Only saw his head. He immediately dropped me. Very cool. You need treatment? Just I got armed up because you were right behind me. You blood though, because I was giving you a power. Not ideal. Ooh, grenade throw got me. I thought they'd be a little bit sturdier. You think, but I see a lot of mods. Very sturdy things. Hold still. I question, where did you get to? Melee! Very bad time to reload. He only had a single bullet. Oh, that was that was good. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, poor D Dragon. Oh, only one bullet left. Uh, Jimbo. Oh yeah, I still do one lives. I mean, for the, it's technically one life for the CIA guys. I I love doing one life because they value things a lot more. That tower did not get destroyed. Found it. We're gonna have to wait for that charge. Oh, that charge doesn't have a timer tied to it. They've got to put a timer on that charge. I think they're gonna send a guy back. Yep. But we have one wall down on our eastern side. Need the medic. Oh yeah, that's gonna give a little less momentum to the uh, to the gorilla attack. Helping you dig. So that third charge was not primed. Alright, what was that? That's our ally. You're right. AI. This is AI too, so... There might be shots that for things we can't see yet. Yep. I'm still looking for our resupply. Should be in that truck, I think. Jesus, how many bullets to the face do you require, sir? Silly AI. This breach. I'm a peek out. <laughs> Who's gonna win the reload war? Oh, <laughs> it's a trade. <laughs> yeah, so they reprime that charge. They said another one. They said another three. Jeez. Yeah, that thing's definitely gonna go down. So they have that set up M2, they bring it back in. That was our AI shooting, uh, uh, east ish. Uh, I was looking Did at the anything here. Uh, no, all our AI shoots are fucked up. Damn it. I'm waiting to hear that tower go down. So that's giving these guys a bit more time to reset up their objective and whatnot. Uh, you only were able to give me blood because I'd lost a lot. Yeah, uh, but I'll pack you now. I need to pack as well. Yep. Still yeah. waiting on that tower. Yeah, I'm moment. I'm digging a trench. Actually, I'm going to send, uh, we're going to have two squads attack that eggs. position. You need, get some eggs. You need, you need blood, actually. And that brought yeah, the tower nice. down. Yes, it did. Copy. Another three squads. 
Now they're gonna put demo. Yep, all over. Mirwell, he's putting charges down. This is where you want to put the satchels, because yeah, like I said, so this building you can blow up, that power relay you can blow up, and then this little middle part cannot be blown up. So they're gonna want to put explosives all around this puppy. Why can I not take the fucking crag? Cut and take. Where's Nightmare at? Do the independent players know what the T3 player objectives? Nope. Um, I didn't tell them what they're doing, uh, and I only told them that they're going to be defending uh, this town, but they don't know what specifically uh, each hey, faction's doing. Red. So it's, uh, it's yeah, interesting. It's, well, it's been in times. Nice bit of PvP. So I want to see that the satchels get put down, because that's what's going to cause this to go off. So they put a lot of stuff down. Alright, so how am I going to do this? I couldn't grab a fucking grenade. Maybe it's that. Hey, who threw a blue smoke? We did. Okay. Hopefully they'll stay in there. Fine. Literally won't let me pick a flag. Hey, who are you? No. Who am I? I am. Pickle Rick's cousin! Who is the M1 Garondrick! Who is the president? Ah! Uh, hey, you got better pointed outside, buddy. The president is the mighty. Give me a second, I gotta look up Wikipedia. Oh, wait, that doesn't exist yet, damn it. Ah! Uh, damn it! Where's his name? Southeast. Southeast. <laughs> How about we pull security instead? Bunker security is better than. Yeah, as long as they blow up one of those things, and the objective will be considered success. Oh, <sighs> like bloody. In the guys that are machine guns, stay on the north okay. side. We got this over down. here. No, <laughs> The president is banana. The president is not banana. He's not. What? The president is not a banana. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Very oh, the much. guy's literally been here this whole time, though. <laughs> I mean, appreciate it. It's for people reinforced. I roleplay characters, and you you just shoot them in the head. Okay, cool. Why don't you shoot all of your friendly AI while you're at it? Fuck me. How do you how do you expect the people in this garrison to know what code phrase you made at the staging area? Ah, oh, never mind. You guys aren't thinking anyway. I I don't know why I bother. After told not to like eight times. Amazing. I'm I hope the CIA kills you all. Honestly, I wouldn't be the. Best. You know what? I'm not sending your friendly AI to help you. You you can die. I don't care. Honestly, I'm expecting our friendly AI to start shooting us now. Because <laughs> You can die, I don't give a crap. So that went off, it blew up the buildings next to it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it some extra oomph, because this texture kinda sucks. There we go. Good enough. I'm angry. <laughs> All right, PVP is gonna start. Let me quickly add to the title. He did great. Here we go, Zeus and PVP. And you know what? There, there's gonna be. <clears throat> you know what? Nah. To, for a platoon worth, that's gonna be enough because one squad's gonna go into each one as well.
Yeah, I don't know how they have the AI grab that, but that's actually pretty smart, because, yeah, the AI on statics are very overpowered. Try to listen to the T3s as they come in. Why? Why would you do that? Why did you just run over half of that squad? What? What? I, okay. Okay. Good job, Guatemalan Grills. This is why you lost. That is literally why you lost. Ah. Oh. Salty. Yeah, I was chilling in there. Damn, going straight for that building. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, Nano totally might hear him, and he's got a marksman rifle. And Nano gets dropped by that, uh, I think that was an SKS. Woo. Yeah, bad position to be in. Yes, yes, run over more of your AI while you're at it, even though you're dead. How are you still alive, sir? That's amazing. All right, let's quickly go in the map. Wow. <laughs> you heard Nano say wow when he got shot. I love it. Crozion's up here. I think he's trying to grab enemy guns. This guy's breaching in. So yeah, if they take out these radio towers, I'll give him a bonus. But we still have this M2 guy in here. I think the other fob's going to be a bit more difficult. And Luxie getting shot at because of that AI right there. And you have these uh, CIA guys acting as the saboteurs breaching in. Looks like this FOB's attack has mostly failed. They set up the M2 out here, blowing dudes away. It's good to see. Uh, something just got thrown up there. Not sure what that was. He got off the M2. And popped a smoke. D Dragon, staying low right here. <laughs> just, oh my god! Oh my god, they just executed him! Looks like the Vincer was also executed. They're popping grenades up here. One of the towers as well. Hot damn. He's unloading on Etta. Throws another. That was a anti tank grenade. Oh, that might blow up and hurt these guys. Might have just been a dud. Etta gets blown up. Nope. Wait, that might have been the explosion. Nope, they're still alive. So let's just cook off. So Zope's around right there. These guys staying low. They gotta do a flank or something. Let's teleport over and see if we can listen to it locally. AI still on the ground firing at a. Oh, uh oh. Luxie might be dead. Yep. So, well placed frag. Not sure if that was from the AI or the players. But now they gotta put that charge down. They gotta make it quick. And they gotta pull back and then re attack from a different angle. So, Prozzi's pulled up. I, he just. <laughs> He's honking at him. Ah! 
<laughs> he just runs up to him. They're pulling back. Holy crap. A lot of reinserts. They're gonna have to go to that other base and defend it with their lives. There's still AI around. I'm gonna end key these guys. Barbarian's still here. I guess he's AFK. Other tower is now down. Prozzy, you're dead. I'm sorry, that, that just blew up in your face. And they left Barbarian back there. He might get up later. But I know these guys are regrouping. They've done a really good job so far. Oh, Barbarian's lagging out. That's why. So we'll see what they decide to do to reattack. They're going to have to swing north and come around. Because if they do south, they run the... Ooh, excuse me. Risk of uh, running into the reinserts. I think, uh, Man, didn't that, you have right? some more? Who's got who's got explosives? No. I've got one demo left. I have HDP. I don't That'll think work. HDP. We'll it's make it work. Look around, guys. We've got, got like one, six fucking one demo block left. tens of thousands of. Concerned. That should have gone block. I thought We're I heard it block already. Or I heard it already. Pegging. I heard it. It went off already. Yeah. yeah, yeah it is faithful. Do you want to wrap round north and come in again for the second objective that way rather than going okay. southeast? Oh, if we head south. We'll I was thinking the, well, the player base is coming south, isn't it? Exactly what I was saying. Yep. Yeah, let's go north. I kind of want to go put Crozy in a body bag up there. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. There's no Prozzy left to put in a body bag. Rust and sludge is more like it. <clears throat> uh, direction. Uh, yeah, I still have a good bit of my squad still at um A1. He hasn't respawned yet. I think he. Check for the explosives. Looks like Nimia's calling it. Uh, probably just done with that objective, so they're going back to take it. Sorry, off her body. What do they need to I don't know. See, they don't know what they need to demo, so. That adds yeah, to the confusion. Like Fuel tanks aren't exploded yet. Yeah, that's why it's I still said right there. check for explosives. Anything which looks like infrastructure, check for explosives. I'm not seeing anything by these. Uh, they blew our truck. truck. Here. You guys got fuel when we go back to our... Yeah, we'll be fine. Nano, this is your radio. Over. Yes. Uh, we're sending a squad up from the staging point of AI to help you out. They know the banana thing. Don't shoot them because some of your guys have been shooting your friendly AI. Asking them what it was. And yeah, just tell them not to do that. Uh, we have uh, enemies which can do that like us, but no more. Actually, we haven't confirmed that yet, but uh, yeah. Shh. Gentlemen, we have a squad of AI coming in as a support. Yeah, I was trying his best, yeah. Ooh, they just tapped that guy. Man, today has been a crazy day. I watched M1 Rick get shot by Guatemalans. I just heard that other base get absolutely schwacked. And I am the only guy in my squad still alive in the original garrison. It's amazing. What the heck was that? Ah, uh, that sounded like it came from the north. They're trying to AT it. Is there anyone on the northern He's on the 
Yeah. Good. One person. North, 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 north. Another gun. Roger that. Still alright? Yeah, I think he hit the wall. You still okay? You still okay? Man, this is terrifying! I don't know what that was! It sounded like a thunk! Well, come on, buddy. Uh -oh. I'm gonna take you somewhere safe. No, I wanna stay here! You go help the attack! I don't know. Get inside. Get inside, Lieutenant! Yeah, so they they picked a really bad spot to reattack from. They should have pulled in more and cut to the left because now they got this open area with hostile and friendly players to hit. Man, that sounds like some sort of mortar. Do they have mortars? Oh my gosh! So terrified. So I uh. No, it's not enemy mortar. I'm saying it sounds. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm I'm gonna stop. You do whatever you want. So yeah, they're gonna pull back because they lost the element of surprise there. No, they're rockets. They're fucking rockets. Huh? Get all the dead bodies right here, man. Go ahead, delete the two CIA bodies because those were from uh disconnects. But looks like they accidentally just fragged themselves. We have a ton of protection to the north. I'll get some things up. No, please, please don't go, go to the north anymore. We have so many people up there. On the way. No, it means it's out the compound. Just don't flip don't the run, arsenal, with, or don't out. flip the resupply. No, I'm gonna put some sandbags. Sandbag. Sandbag. Move. Sandbag. Freaking weeb picture. For me. Go for me. I'm just saying. Hey you, you with the radio. I just got a note by telegraph that another squad's coming. See this backpack's actually an LR. Don't ask how it works. But anyway, you have another friendly squad coming from the south. And friendly squads will start showing up every few minutes. <laughs> Won't that be neat? Might want to tell your friends. Uh, uh, be advised, uh, we have more friendly squads coming death. in from the south, and we'll have that more friendly squads coming in every few minutes now. Not very fun, it doesn't sound like. So Karn's charging their position here. And I think he's being shot at by friendlies. So they're repositioning. Where am I? Uh, that's a good question. They might have actually pushed up and not pulled back. Was that pin on purpose, Nano? No, sorry. Okay. So yeah, Karin, I think you pulled into a building to bandage. <clears throat> yep, yeah, let's go. Packing. I got myself, I got myself. Now, I don't think the, uh, the green four guys should be going one at a time here. Because this is just going to get them shot in the long run. So 
So, but the threes are being a very effective machine, constantly replacing, staying ahead of even the one guy trying to hunt them down. Very smart. Because, again, they're trying to attack this other position to kill this tower. And I don't think, because of what exploded here, I don't think these guys realize that they're getting, to, uh, they're after the radio tower equipment. So, T1s haven't noticed yet. Karn's still going. He just got shot at by a friendly, I think. And he just got killed by a friendly! <laughs> oh my god, he got dropped by this M2! Oh! Silver, I love you! Oh, that was beautiful. That is why you shouldn't run off on your own without telling your squad! That's happened, I think, three times this campaign. Because the players go, oh, let's go hunt the other players, and then they die. To their own players. I think Undead is, yep, he's up here trying to keyhole with that marksman rifle. And they're still shooting at Karn's body, that's even better. But I love this position Silver's made with this M2 to keyhole them. I think that's dropped at least a few dudes back here. Yeah, trapped two of them. Ooh, man. So, Dragon's been shot. Done two. Mirrorwell, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Jeez. Okay, dude. I gotta wonder, yeah, so Silver pulled back because he needed a bandage. Very smart. Friendly AIs come up, but every every few minutes, another squad of friendly AI is gonna come up. Making this harder and harder for the uh, remainder of the CIA, but two out of three towers already gets them a second plane. For the next mission. Oh boy, who the fuck killed them? Uh, the MG. And Iceberg, he's pushed up here. He might try to flank that MG. That's a very nice flank. But he's really exposed up here. These guys, they could try displacing on the left and coming around and hitting from the rear, but that's going to be very risky. What we can do is nuke their bunker. And you're still hearing, I think, Yanni firing with the SK. Whatever that gun is. Yeah, Nemesis using the STG. He's trying to hit Undead here. Keeping Undead suppressed. He's got a marksman rifle, though. He's managing. He's got to be careful. He might have put himself at an angle to expose his head, but doesn't look like it. Start committing a little bit of body cleanup. I'm going to start sending AI to go charge him. Pretty much to run interference. Iceberg, I think, turned out, shot a guy. Looks like they are trying to bandage these guys to save them. But they're staying too far pinned down here. It's just the Green 4 players haven't rallied yet to try to hunt them down. Barb trying to join in again. I'm hoping it's fixed. But look at what Silver's done. He repositioned his M2 over here in case they go around the flank. That is smart. Silver definitely thinking on the defensive. He's trying to get into the enemy's mind. He knows he just locked down this angle with his M2. So he's switched angles with his M2 to uh, basically lock down. Do I keep calling this an M2? Yeah, it is an M2. Oh, man. That is smart. That was very smart. He's not going for kills. He is purely going for locking down zones, which with a heavy machine gun, the guy that got those two kills right here... Very, very impressive to see. You saw a grenade get thrown up here. Chuckabo's, um, can never, uh, Chubbukas already, he got oofed right there. Iceberg now going up. He might try to one-man army this. Another grenade gets thrown right there. Karn moving up, calling out he's being pushed. Abraham Hart goes down. Nemesis is also down. These guys got bogged down trying to medic these two guys. I think Karn's gonna finally get his uh, hunt in here. Oh, Yanni gets blown away! Karn might actually be able to do this! Abraham staying in the open! 
This is bad. Yep. There goes Mirawell. Out. I think they got uh, Outcast up. Karn working wonders here. Iceberg managed to stealth in here. Holy crap, Iceberg might one man this. Iceberg needs to focus on the objective. Holy crap, I didn't even notice this. He has completely snuck in. Just set it to a five second timer or a 20 second run, man. He has it set. Blows himself up, still alive, knocks out the tower. Karn, meanwhile, back here. He's dropped. We still got people alive back here. It's a little cheap. I wouldn't have done it if uh, the other guy right there lost the firefight. But Iceberg, holy crap, he was able to get the tower last second. So they restrain Iceberg. That was a crazy rush. So you have a crazy thing that's happened on both sides. One, Karn was able to take out almost everybody uh, and get a full squad wipe on these guys. Two, uh, Iceberg doing the same thing going in taking out the objectives trading his life for it but he's probably not gonna die he might get captured because they might try to medic him but that that's crazy iceberg being the mvp for uh blue four and karn definitely being the mvp for op four but yeah, Blue 4 got bogged down trying to medic, and that's what let uh, Green 4 come in. And now these guys are going to get cleaned up by the remaining uh, players coming in right here. Wow. Fluffy, I don't know what that was. Grenade gets popped in there. Outcast running back the other way. Opens the door to see Edda. Drops him with a handgun. Trying to get away. Gets shot in the leg. And he's dropped. Oh, man. Barbarian's still up, though. Skirmishing with AI. Grenade gets thrown on this guy. I'll call him dead. Barb running in. Doesn't realize there's four dudes outside right here. Barb dropping him real quick. Trades with Edda. Oh, crazy. Prozzy needs to do the double tap. Doesn't do the double tap. Barb looks like he didn't do that wake up chance because um, it checks every 15 seconds. He might wake up again. I can't tell his blood effect though. Mm, I don't think he's going to wait back up. Luxie's on him, though. Oh, there it is. That's it. That's it. Silver with the M2 did a really good job, but... I, actually, there's there's three MVP awards. You're right. Okay. Let's go to debrief. Oh, that was we should have yeah. never gone for right. that. All right. Oh, we should have pulled off. Yeah, great great job, Iceberg. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So there are three MVP awards I want to give out for that operation, because that was, that was awesome uh, towards the end. First MVP award, Green Force Silver Dragon. You locked, uh, you pretty much locked the blue four players down in that last firefight with your M2. You downed two of them, which caused almost all of blue four to stay in that spot. And then you even traded, changed your angle so that if they moved on the route I thought they were going to move, you would have still had them locked down. So beautiful. Second MVP award goes to Karn. 
I how do you pronounce that? He has his mic muted. Karen. 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 Using the fact that Silver Dragon locked a blue four down, was able to then move up and wipe everyone but one guy, which was Outcast, uh, by moving building to building. Um, yeah, the after Because time Outcast time. was able to survive, I then was able to TP Barbin because he crashed earlier, but then, you know, by then, the rest of the green yeah, four players that's sweeping the entire town then got on you and fucked you up. But the best MVP award goes to Iceberg for fighting through at least 10 players, a squad and a half of AI, getting to the last uh, communication tower, which, by the way, that was what the saboteurs were after, okay. blowing it up, and then literally dying. Uh, not even dying, he got captured, because uh, he was on con, uh, as he was getting shot at by two dudes. That was beautiful. So all around, good, good plays on both sides.